and thanks for joining us. Have you also interested in why alcoholic beverage brands don't involve alcoholics and drunk people in their commercials? Are they ashamed of their customers? We are not ashamed of our host. Although he is a perfect face of alcoholic consequences advertising, he picks up very cool news for you. Please welcome Doug Sapiens, Mr. Quack. Hello, Western world. I was wet and shivering over the weekend. They told me they would bring something dry and warm, but I wanted something strong and cold because I realized the pattern. A good drunkness on Wednesday night brings the Friday night significantly closer. And the new issue brings me closer to the salary, which I'll spend on Wednesday night. Therefore, it's time to work. Let's go! Elon Musk says go fuck yourself to advertisers leaving X. Seems that making money on flamethrowers, blankets and shit is not interesting for Musk anymore. So he invented a new go quack yourself strategy. Only time will show the efficiency of this marketing innovation. We can only get more popcorn and watch the new series of the Elon Musk adventures and how his believers lose money due to his ego. Watch this. France says Germany, EU must invest massively in AI or trail US. These Europeans got seriously crazy about their perspective of dying from the American AI, and not the European one. I'm curious, which continents will be the first to create its Skynet? Or what if it has been already created and given the WeChat name? Ukraine blows up two railway connections between Russia and China. Looks like Russian kids will have to wait for Russian Santa Claus with New Year gifts from AliExpress. So Russian kids are left not only without daddy this year. Watch this. World's largest iceberg breaks free, heads toward Southern Ocean. The majority prefers to shake Calera patient's hands rather than touch this. Meet my colleague, Tanya. Hi, Quack! Keep talking like this, and my dad will teach you the deduckification word. Anyway, is it true that this iceberg break is a direct consequence of the ice bucket challenge? Not really. This iceberg broke free in 1986. It's just that it started drifting only now. Some say that local penguins have always had separatist sentiments. So this is how they decided to separate themselves. Whoa! But what about the other iceberg citizens? Seals are having a demonstration right now. They stand against relocation as they weren't asked and most of them have families here. Who? Walruses? Not only. There is a Soviet research station here. Its workers are pissed since they are scared that the iceberg will drift them to Russia, where their relationships with seals and walruses are prohibited by Russia's recent ban on LGBT relationships. I'm not sure what I feel about them. Anything else? There was also a huge group of vegans. They thought they discovered an infinite source of iceberg lettuce but were disappointed and went sucking the ice. Oh, some people also saw James Cameron here. He came to check the new location for his new Titanic movie, but he flew away pissed, as the iceberg is still too big and he doesn't have that huge ship. So he'll have to wait for the iceberg to melt a little and we'll have to wait more for the new Titanic movie. Oh, there's a fight between Greta Thunberg and Al Gore. They're deciding who was the first one to say, how dare you? So I gotta go before these bets are closed. Why the frog's life is better than mine? <sighs> 
watch this. Russia wants foreign visitors to sign loyalty pledge to regime. I have a suggestion for Russians. Just make a user agreement form like Apple did, and you can put anything you want into there. Nobody reads it anyway. It seems like Russia does its best to have the only foreign visitors, the dildos from AliExpress. Mm -hmm.